This is worry. This is fear. This is depression. This is low self-esteem. Now, let's repeat the race. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Now, who won the race? The brother without the burden. Do you know the painful thing? The painful thing about this. For many of us today, our burden has taken our eyes off Jesus. We face a burden, something holds us back, holds us down. We try to solve the problem without God. We try to remove the weights without God. We try to lighten the load without God. And instead of helping the situation, we go from burden to bondage. Let me, let me give you an example. Let's just say my brother has been sent a, a threatening message, a text message that says, I'm gonna deal with you and your family. And he's afraid. Fear is a burden. And he thinks to himself, what am I going to do? Okay, there's a friend who, who told me if I join the society, that they can protect me. You say, let me go and join the society. What's happened? You've gone from the burden of fear to the bondage of witchcraft. You thought you would remove the fear. You've only made matters worse. Another example. Many of us here today, you know what happens? Maybe some of us were depressed. We're busy thinking someone disappointed us. We're busy giving our heart to that disappointment. How could they do this to me? How can they say this about me? Because of that disappointment, that depression, you say, what can I do? Let me go out and enjoy myself. Let me go and take alcohol. Let me go and try drugs, try marijuana, try cocaine. What has happened? You've gone from the burden of depression to the bondage of addiction. You know, some of us, just a simple thing like offense, someone, speaks against you, says something wrongfully against you and your heart is pained. You begin to focus on the wrong done to you. Think about how can they do this to me? How can they say this about me? And you think to yourself, the only way I can feel better is to get revenge. They should suffer the way I'm suffering. They should feel the pain the way I'm feeling the pain. You begin to plot and plan how you can get back at the person. You've gone from the burden of offense to the bondage of anger. Some of us may have a low self-esteem. We isolate ourselves. We feel that people don't like us. We feel we're not good enough. We're not strong enough. We're not smart enough. We're not intelligent or beautiful enough. Low self-esteem, inferiority complex. What happens? You say, let me, let me go on the internet and try and watch something that will satisfy me, that will remove my heart from this. You sit down and watch pornography. You watch the pornography. You end up masturbating. You think you've enjoyed yourself. What's happened? You've gone from the burden of inferiority to the bondage of lust. Heart is bound and burdened. And do you know what's happening? It's just like this. Already he's weighed down. Now he's tied up. It doesn't just end there. Now you've given Satan permission to chain you. You've given him the right to lock you up, to tie you down. I wonder what's going to happen in the race now. Let's give it a go. This time we'll just race to here. Three, two, one, go. Many of our Christian lives look like this. We're stuck. We're stagnant, we're not moving, we're struggling, but nothing seems to be working. We go to church, we pray, we fast, but our heart is bound and burdened. And let me tell you this truth, people of God. Satan cannot remove a burden he created. Satan cannot loosen a chain he fastened. Some of us have this wrong impression. You say, I want to fight fire with fire. You want to fight envy with pride. You want to fight malice with jealousy. You want to fight, fight, fight anger with, with lust. You don't realize that they have the same father. They come from the same source. Satan is the author of bondage. He cannot bring freedom. Satan is the author of division. He cannot bring unity. 
Satan is the author of pain. He cannot bring peace. Only Jesus can set you free. You can't find freedom in the world. No one can remove this burden. No one can cut these chains. Only Jesus can cut the chains. Only Jesus can loose the burden. Only Jesus can remove the pain. Only Jesus can give you peace. Only Jesus. And what Jesus does is very simple. You just give him the opportunity. What does he do? He sets you free. He sets you free. What does Jesus say? Jesus says, come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. What does this mean? That doesn't mean that we cannot have trouble. That doesn't mean that people won't speak evil, evil about us. That does not mean there cannot be hardships, but it means you are not alone. You and him are working together. You and him are facing the battle together. You and him are fighting the battle together. You and him are lifting the load together. You and him are facing the persecution together. You are sharing in his ability, sharing in his strength. And as you bless God in your trials, you will be blessed by God through your trials.